I wonder if that's it right there. The motor's still running. We're not, we're not sinking yet. There has been great whites here in Maine recently. Having a lot of fun with Ace. He's a good, uh, good teammate. We really worked well together, so. Yes, now oh, that. I got myself in the finger. Oh, 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 now I got myself in the back oh. of the hand. <laughs> what a couple of goops. Gotcha. Whoa! <laughs> this is all hooked up. You're going for on the bottom? Mm -hmm. Piles. Tons of. Straight up a buttery lobster roll. Harry Winkles, mussels. Hopefully that really stays dry. The drone's in there. So good. <laughs> I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery of Mischief. Yeah. All right, we are in Friendship Harbor. Ace Videos is with us for this adventure. We're gonna go and try to find an island out here that has some free camping, so hopefully we don't get lost at sea. We do have a Garmin with us that has charting on it, uh, but we get distracted by the fishing and you never know what could happen. We've already done a bunch of other videos. Check out Ace's channel, link below in the description if you haven't already seen Ace Videos. And we've been hanging out for a week, having such a good time. And God's just blessed us with all kinds of great catches. I'm hoping to catch that keeper striper. I still have not caught a keeper striper this year. Ace's striper that he caught the other day. Well, you have to watch that video. I won't tell you anymore. It was a... Uh, that's all I can say. As you can see, we are all loaded up, you know. And you put two YouTubers in a boat, that's what's going to happen. I... There he is. Here's your keys, catch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Between the camera and the And he's in. <laughs> All right. Have landed. Let's, All right, there are the slow, keys. Slow, gentle handoff. There we go. Now that we're finally out here, I'm really jazzed for this. This is gonna. You were a little fun. scared before. No, I just was like, I mean, we it took well, so long to like get ready, and then well, we and we did so sure. much stuff the day before, the yeah. day before that. And we weren't sure what we were gonna do, but like once we settled on the camping trip, like I'm like, no, I'm really excited about this. And it's beautiful. It is. Yeah, it's gorgeous, and it's like 75 degrees out here right now. It's way cooler than it was earlier. I never drink energy drinks, but Zach bought me a Monster uh, today. Had that for the first time, and maybe that's why I'm feeling so yeah, like, like lifted spirits. <laughs> All right, so we are here and using Navionics, which this has Navionics as well, but then I don't, and you can half and half the screen, but I, I like the big screen for fish, and that's why I put this mount here. And so we're gonna go to this little island out here, which is Black Island, and it has, anybody can camp if you can get there. All right, let's pedal down. I wonder if that's it right there, that faint foggy one in the distance. Hopefully we don't get stranded, that's really far. I know, right? Well, we got the trolling motor and it's fully charged, but that's, but then the wind's blowing this way more often than not. So we might be making a sail and be like sailing and trolling back. It would it would become legitimate survival then. I'm excited. Camping on an island? Yeah, Man. this could be good. Can we do one of those slow-mo hair flips like I do? Yeah. I have to do it with my chest hair. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, there's like a beach and some rock outcroppings. Ooh. Striper fishing. I mean, it's anything right through here. Uh -huh. You know, and then look, there's a rock and a little bit of a cove there, and then there's a cove there, and some shallow in between. 
This looks I mean, excellent. This just looks super prime. And uh, the motor's still running. The mo yeah, that's good. We're not we're not sinking yet, even though we're just loaded with equipment. Oh, seal. Oh, seal. I was like, what is? Yeah, I thought that was like a weird looking buoy. I mean, I bet coming over here and fishing off the rocks would be awesome. It's like 23 feet here. There we go, there's some fish activity. And now we gotta make our way in. It almost feels like really nice. We'll be able to like tie between the two spots. Look at this spot here. There we go. Now we just gotta unpack and then we gotta figure a way to tie the boat maybe from some point there to some point or an anchor out there because we got to keep the boat out there and then swim back in once it's all said and done otherwise we get beached for a number of hours and we won't be able to use the boat at all everything but the kitchen sink and we didn't bring that just because it was bolted down all right on. come here no just kidding <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. Touchdown. Here, let's see if we can drag it up a little bit more. That, that should hold us for a little bit. With a tide of 9 feet 3 inches and it's still coming in, we're pretty close to being there. So I'm guessing that this right here, this seaweed, is where it's going to stop today. I haven't made a little pulley system yet and I want to do that soon. So when I do go out to islands, I can put an anchor out there with a pulley and then pulley it out to the anchor point and I won't have to swim swim it back in, especially in the night. There has been great whites here in Maine recently. Experts say another great white shark is being tracked off the coast of Maine this season. It's at least the third great white tracked off the Maine coast in the last month. But I'm not planning on swimming far, and I, knowing that, even though it was like far away from here, I'll swim very fast. Eh. Still be creepy at night though, if I have to swim out to the boat. So oh, beautiful. I see no blueberries so far, but giant rose hips. A lot of vitamin C there. Oh, the size of those rose hips, they're not really ready yet. A lot of the people on my season alone had rose hips around their places and they drank like rose hip tea and ate the rose hip flesh every day. You don't want to eat the rose hip seeds because when you go to the potty, they're, they're fuzzy on the way out and they um, give you itchy bum. Just to, just so you know, uh, we got some great big trees here. So this would be perfect to set up our hammocks like here and here and stuff. Quite the view in the morning to wake up to. That's like perfect, huh? Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. piece of driftwood plank or dock floated yeah. up here and now... Uh, it's a dock. It's a, now it's a perfect table. Yeah, there's no other, there's no better place. Then we can sit on some logs when we're done. I'm gonna set up our camping stuff, but on Ace's channel, we did a catch and cook lobster thing. So check that out, linked down below. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that sweet? Look at, what a view. Candle right in the middle here. How many and times do you get that kind of a view? Right there, and then boom. This is so, this is so hard. I have to do all the work whenever we do anything. Just kidding, having a lot of fun with Ace. He's a good, uh, good teammate. We really worked well together. So if you've been seeing that in the videos, it's not a lie. Yeehaw. I think I'm gonna actually, well, it's still kind of nice out, but oh, that last ray of sun, look at that. Oh, it's coming out to say hello before it goes goodbye and let's see if we can count it with our fingers we got four an hour and a half here before we lose the sun perfect amount of time to cook and i'm gonna go for a swim while ace cooks Today's episode is brought to you by FowlersMakeReamischief.com. You don't have to spend $800 to begin your new adventure, but I guarantee it every purchase will take you on one. Check out our new adventure bundle available now. 
Save a bunch by buying the Adventure Bundle, which includes a bunch of the stuff you've seen me use over the years, my Sparrow Slingshot or the Hornet Slingshot, as well as some exclusive items only available now in the Adventure Bundle. So head on over to FowlersMakeGreenMischief.com and begin your adventure today. I'll see you in a week! Cheesy as that sounds, look at those claws. There we go. I hope I don't look too much like a seal with all the sharks that have been spotted around here. It's not black. Maybe something lighter might have been good, but look at her go. This is cold. Oh. I just want to dip to rinse off the sweaties. It was 90. And this is a, such a beautiful spot. Oh. That's what I needed. Oh, that's refreshing. So nice. All right, well, I'm already wet. I'm gonna anchor us out so we don't have to worry about this for a couple hours. But I'm gonna try to use some fancy knots. I think if I put it out there and then I have a line, I can kind of bring it in and out. Because I have a second line right here and I can run that through this. Yeah, so we gotta float out a little bit and see if we can't do this. So I just made a bowling and then tucked my tag in through there so my bowling can't come undone. Other line here. Now I can find the other end. Strip both ends until I get to the middle. Now we got our knot out there. We got a double line. Oh, we're gonna run out of line. We're gonna make it to the beach. Oh, we don't have enough to make it to the beach. Hold anchor a little bit. That's my dead end. So attach my dead end to my cleat. Pull the boat out. Let's try it out. Aha! It's working! And I want the boat back. I'll bring it back. Woohoo! Well, I hope that's far enough out. It doesn't feel quite like it's far enough out, but one thing I don't know is with the nine feet of tide, I don't think that's in nine feet of water right now, which means at some point I'll have to uh, move it out again and maybe swim it in. But for now, I can bring it back and forth when we want to go out fishing after dinner. So I'm happy. I'm hungry. Let's go see what Ace has got cooking. So maybe you recognize I'm that. Heat up a bunch of butter. He's gonna heat up some butter. We're gonna have some lobster out here. And uh, then I think we will get on some, see if we can do some evening fishing. Get the flashlights out. Mosquitoes are biting my bald head. Ugh, mosquitoes are biting right through my clothes. 
Uh, if you want to see the feast, you'll have to go see that on Ace's channel. It was fun. That was the kind of the completion of a video we started the day one year. Yeah. Catching stuff, bait, putting it in the traps, going through all the process to do a lobster catching cook and finishing it out here. So now we're finishing up our final bites. We need to find some bait. Mm -hmm. Catch a mackerel or two. Right under here somewhere. There he is. There he is. Got him. No, almost got him. Doodly, 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 there we go. Oh, that's a great bait sign. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh oh, that'll fish. Oh, here. Oh, he's right in front of me. I didn't even see him. Oh, that one's a big one. Do we want to keep one that size? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we give him a go. Give him a, give him a go. Fast. Oh, he's a, he's a fast little fellow. He's running up on the beach. Got him. Excellent. Oh. Don't feed me the stripers. I'm sorry. Gotcha. Ba -dum -ba -dum. There you go. <laughs> we got some hanging on to one of He's trying to take off. There we go. We'll get a cooler full of baits. If not, we're having crab, green crab stew for breakfast. <laughs> That's pretty slick. Lights are on? Lights are on, yes All sir. Right, then we are good to go. We'll just coil both lines into the boat because we're going to need the anchor when we get to a cove and we're going to fish. Okay. So unfortunately we have to reset this thing. Too bad. So it would have been fine to let the boat sit overnight at the low tide. Mm. So. Trolling motor on anchor. Some monster like cruise by between the light and the thing, and hey, buddy! All right, I got my, my little green crab. All right, here's my crab. Ace is all hooked up. You're going for on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that weight. What is that called? It's a flat weight. A flat weight, and it can drop. and it can slide, so they can run with so it. That's nice. It, they That's don't good. Know that they're, yeah. Yeah. So he's going with that, and I'm going with my bobber. Hopefully, it's a slip bobber, so I kind of rigged it so it's just off the bottom. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can actually see it with my light with the bobber on it, and then I'll decide whether I wanna put a, a glow stick on it if I can. Flip it out there, basically, just beyond the ring of this uh, green light that we're hoping to attract some stuff with. And now I'm gonna rig up the other one with a squid jig. So guys, if you hear this, it means Ooh. I got a striper on. And if you hear this, it means I got a striper on. I like the sound of yours better. I got my sabiki down on the other side and just letting the boat right here. Just letting the boat rock back and forth and see if anything comes of it. I can just see my bobber out there. Nothing doing there. Is he crawling it's or? Like something small. Something but small. It, was some, it wasn't like a big striper, or unless he's chomping on it, but it was definitely biting. Something's dragging it off. Oh, yeah. 
may have stolen the bait. It was like, like that. It was a weird bite. So either the fish was like swimming at an angle and like dragging the sinker or something, or it was a smaller. Oh, look, <laughs> look at that. All his legs are gone. Oh, he got munched? Yeah, munched bad. So he got like, something definitely picked him up and ran with him and, and ate a, Unless you think it was other cra bigger crabs tore them to no, pieces. No, no, no. It, it was like it was bouncing like this. Like oh, okay. It Something you had a bite, bite. Yeah, no, I had a bite. It was for real. Yeah. Fish bite. That's what the huh. it, like the mackerel were bit in half when we had bites and we lost it. And... He's still alive. Well, it was a nice try. I feel like if we wake up super early in the morning at yeah. four o'clock, like go to bed early. At four o'clock? Or five, four thirty-five, whatever. <laughs> you wanna pop that? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's a hard little spot. Turn it off. There had to be a rock or two out here under the seaweed. All right, so here, there, there's a periwinkle. They're not very big here. Some, oh, there's another one. I'll collect some of these for our breakfast. So like slugs are actually one of the most toxic things, like uh, snails, like mm. freshwater ones, is like the second biggest killer in the world. Oh. I, I guess like people in like, in the warmer countries and stuff like that eat them a lot, but like they're very poisonous. Like they, not because they're poisonous, but because the, Worms and things that get into your body from not being cooked enough. Not so freshwater cooked. snails need to be cooked, like boiled and then cooked in butter, like a lot, so that you're really sure. Oh, you know. Oh. Hey. Hey. If nothing else, we got periwinkles for breakfast, but we're gonna go out. Alright, boat's good and tied off. There we go. In for the night. It is a beautiful day, beautiful place out here. Gonna get some sleep, it's about midnight, and uh, then Ace and I are gonna get up in the morning and try to get right early on at uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock, something like that, get out there when before sun rises, and uh, get lined up for sunrise, and hitting some stripers, maybe some top water, and catch that keeper striper that we've wanted so long. You know, for me, oh, good night, and for you, you'll see me in two seconds. It's 5.30. We should get up and get some coffee going. See if we can't get some striper. Rising shine, sleeping beauty. <laughs> oh. <sighs> mm, looks like we did. Good job tying up the boat. Is on. Good morning, sir. How it's you not feeling? a good morning. It's just morning. It's just morning. It is. It is, isn't it? And look at what I just found. I went over here to talk to the trees. Some yummy raspberries. Mm. Some tasty little raspberries over here. Mmm. See how that coffee's doing. Wait, did I just, you have your own coffee? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it's called Fowler's Coffee. I don't think we can actually drink this. We, it's so hot, but we could. It's jet boiled. It'll jet boil our yeah, mouth I can, if we. I can feel it's gonna, yeah, boil. Yeah. All right. 
Your whiskers are gonna curl. <laughs> My beard's gonna. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Once we uh, get ourselves some breakfast, we can uh, come back and cook it. I decided to strew just the cup and bring the entire pot. Well, I'll be jiggered. I didn't know you had it on a pulley. Like, I thought it was just... Yeah, but uh, it's a hole in. Voila! Cool. Hey. Oh, hey! Uh, grab the cooler with our crab. Away we go. Lord, give us a keeper striper for breakfast. Periwinkles, that should be pretty fun. Those will be tasty. We'll be cooking some of those anyways, but. What do you think? What are you feeling? Where's your fish sense tingling most? Off the end of that, like long point. Yeah, yeah. Points it is. Crabby patty. Put that on there and see what we got. See what we can do. The lobstermen are everywhere. This is like the lobstering hotspot. The pros are out here. Yeah, I know. I've, I've heard about this for years. Now there's just like friendship is the lobstering like spot. Like oh. it's the it's or the real lobstermen. Like real lobstermen live in friendship and lobster okay. you know it's a thing they're like they're, they're stronger here they're tougher here the <laughs> lobsters are tastier here everything is better in friendship maine and we're having fun so i'm not gonna argue with that i have a bunch of mackerel got it yeah. nice yes ow, now ow. that's oh i caught Did myself you? in the finger Did you get that out here it's right there just in the head. There you go. Okay, thank Woo. you. There are a bunch more down there. Oh, whoa, 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 now I got myself in the back oh. of the hand. <laughs> what a couple of goop goop. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. That one nice mackerel ready to go. There we go. Nice. We got something. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> You little boogers. Hey, let me switch sides with you. Got him. On the sabiki. Nice. Yes, two nice mackerel. Excellent. There we go. Moving on. Oh. Mackerel on there or something. <laughs> I'm busy trying to get shots. Oh, we got a big one. I got a big one here. Nice. There. Good sized mackerel, so we can have some breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, and periwinkles and some leftover lobster. Make some lobster roll. Wow. This is a beautiful little cove right here. Look at that. Oh, just love the main coast of these cliffs like this. So pretty. Oh, rocks ahead. Look, something right there. Look, look, look. Striper, 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 striper. Look, look in, right there. Got it. Oh, he's chasing something. Oh, where's your top water? Got it. Oh my god, it's right. Stay there. That was one big six striper. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
most action we've seen all morning. Well, we've been out here for quite a while now, about nine o'clock. Caught a couple mackerel, saw that striper swirling at the top and he wouldn't uh, hit top water. We just keep trying. I feel like I keep saying that. Just keep trying, just keep trying. Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. Eagle. Anchor pulled halfway back in, so we'll just have to work it together. You from the beach and me from the boat. I'll have to go out and reset it. All right, my friends, so we had a little bit of a hard time with getting the boat anchor and the tide is going out. So uh, Zach is going full beast mode and he just threw the anchor way out there and now he's going to swim back, literally. Yeah, our easy anchor rig didn't work so well the second time around. So. <laughs> and I didn't bring my bathing suit. Hopefully that really stays dry because the drone's in there. Oh, the humanity. All right, let's make breakfast. <laughs> I'm hungry. Hopefully you change first. Or yeah, I'm gonna yeah, change. I'm gonna make breakfast, breakfast like this. <laughs> All right, my friends, it is my job to try to catch us a fish. Let's see, I'm gonna cut them into several real nice squares. I'm gonna probably start with the bloodiest one. I have the bobber rig set up here. I'll be able to cast it out and the wind can just kind of drag it across. There we go. Huh, check it out. There's some sort of like, uh, Oysters, oysters or something there. I'm gonna see if Zach, if he's interested in checking these out. Oh, I found a couple mussels. Take those back with us, steam them up, have a couple of those too. I got, an, oh, I got a striper right by mine. I just saw his. Wait, he might have. He might even have it. Um, wait. Okay, no, no. There's just a big swirl. Whoosh. Whoosh. Kind of picked a messy meal idea to cook out here. It'll be worth it though. The hard thing about camping and cooking stuff like this sometimes if you get too many items is getting them all done at the same time. So I want those to be nice and warm, but we're cooking our lobster and I'm gonna take that one lobster and we're gonna use that for our lobster roll we'll put on there. But then we got the periwinkles, uh, what do we got, a couple mussels. So we gotta get those cooked I think as soon as those finish, I want those to be finished and these to be sizzled and ready to go. And I got the tzatziki I made at home from some herbs from my garden and stuff and cucumbers and we'll be able to eat all of it at once, warm and delicious. Then again, it's gonna be hard to keep it all warm and delicious all at the same time with the wind just blowing through here all the time. So we didn't catch the striper yet, but I mean, periwinkles, mackerel, lobster from the day before when we hauled the traps. We're doing pretty good. All right, so coming to a new spot here, and I've got a fresh piece of head on there from the fish that Zach 
it's been making from this cooking. Let's see if freshening it up gets a bite. Yep, oh, that's done. Wow, wow, was a hot tamale, hot tamale. Woo. I'm gonna try a green crab. And our lobster crab roll. Get that going. Since we didn't bring mayo, we're just going straight up a buttery lobster roll. I saw like a main company does this where they, they just have a straight butter one. Oh yeah. That should be good. Right there. And we got a couple pieces of corn that we brought with us. Oh, hot! Huh, oh, oh. Ah, that one got dirtified. We'll use the water in there to clean it up. Ah, 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 hot corn, hot corn. Now we need our mussels and periwinkles. We guess we don't need that many periwinkles, but we'll put them in. There we go. Put them up. Woo. Butter up our corn. Good. Adobo. Ooh, lobster roll. Corn on the cob, got our periwinkles, mussels, and our fish with our homemade tzatziki from my garden. Put that right down the center of the fish. Nice and there we go. That's the trick to the flavor of that one. We also have the hot sauce. And he says he's got something here. We got some extreme heat. Uh, uh, all kinds of peppers in it, huh? Yeah, Carolina Reaper, ghost peppers, cayenne. It has like almost every pepper. I think they just like all the. They just it, it's all good, it should just be called so, uh, all pepper. Yeah, all pepper. It, oh, extreme. That pretty much explains it. You know, a, a subscriber gave it to me, and all he did was go boop like that, and he was like, "That's all we'll need." And I was like, "What?" All right. Oh, I'm so hungry. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yes. We did so much today already, and uh -huh. like getting up and then only four hours of sleep. It's like when you're tired or two, it's like you want to eat more. I th yeah, I think so. Uh, they say that being tired is actually one of the reasons why people gain a lot of weight because you're tired, so you eat for energy, but it doesn't give you energy. Sleep, uh, the right amount of sleep gives you energy. But anyways, before this gets cold, because I think I nailed it all coming out on time. Mm -hmm. So we got our uh, mackerel, the tzatziki, our lobster roll, which is kind of a naked lobster roll with just a butter um, uh, I mean, instead of mayonnaise. Okay. And uh, what, what should we start with? Um, you know, I'm really... Gosh, everything looks good, but I'm really curious about the lobster roll. Let's do, let's do the lobster roll, and there's butter here so we can dip our oh, wow, the mussels in. Actually, let's do mussels, because okay. they're small. So we can dip a quick... Wait, we got... Oh. Forgot, we almost <laughs> didn't say grace. We're that hungry. <laughs> Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for the bountiful feast that you provided us. Even though it wasn't a striper, we appreciate it. In the, Lord, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Woo! This has been quite the adventure, huh? This has been. And like, it's a gorgeous spot. I really like yeah. it. I wouldn't mind returning here. I know. I feel like uh, I'm going to come back here like next week with Sarah and, mm. 
and uh, and the kids and drag them out here when they get back from Grammy camp. Oh, tasty little things, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Not much to them. No, but that's with most clams and stuff like that. Mm. A little pebble in that one. Yeah, mine had a little pebble too. I'm really excited about this. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So it's not just a lobster roll, obviously. We only had one lobster, so I did half lobster and half mm. crab. So it's a lobster crab roll. That is delicious. I've never had lobster roll before. Mm. I'm gonna try and mm. dip it in the edge of my tzatziki here. Oh. Let's see ya. I'm gonna try some tzatziki. Yeah, I'm gonna try tzatziki by itself. It's amazing how when you like make it with fresh vegetables, like you taste a difference instantly. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna go with your mm. little hot stuff here mm -hmm. on it. Definitely wouldn't want to get it in your eyes. Though. Yeah, right. This is also serves as a self-defense mechanism for you can at home. Throw it in somebody's yeah. eyes. Hmm. <laughs> You like that? I like that. I'm gonna I have to get it was some too. Now. It was too extreme for me. Yeah. I really like that. That's good. Let's try the mackerel mm. and tzatziki. Oh, making a mess. Mmm. A little fish pizza. Mm hmm. Mm, that's good too. Mackerel's really good. I know, right? Like, people think that mackerel is, you know, just a bait fish, but mm. I mean, fried up like this with. I think that, like, if things are too common, people tend to just dismiss them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, oh, well, anybody can go out and catch mackerel, so therefore they're probably not going to be that good. And it's like, these are delicious. Yeah, and lobstermen use them as bait, so. Mm. Well, I don't know if it, it might also have to do with the fact that it's a pain in the neck to process. Oh, like, okay. Like, you don't, you don't just fillet it. Like, I have to, I gush it and smush it and, 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 uh, and then peel the bone out. And I, I think it's worth it. I mean, get a little bit of mess, but a whole lot of flavor there. Mm -hmm. No, I'm curious how we, um, how are we going to eat the little, what are these called? Periwinkles. Periwinkles. I was thinking that we might be able to do it with the lobster claw tip. Yeah, see, I got it with the lobster claw tip oh. and stuff. Oh, wow. That coils like the, it takes up the whole thing. Yeah. Break off the little bit of poop or whatever. Thank you. Chop six the fish out of the butter. Man, this is gonna take forever to eat. <laughs> like any any amount of food when they're that size. Basically just a survival food. Yeah, a lot of work. Mm-hmm. They're just they're just like uh I would say the clams or something, you know, like Yeah, it's like whatever flavor you want to impart to them. Yeah. Yeah. Dip it in the butter and you get, that's what, you know, that's what it tastes like. <laughs> uh -huh. well, there we go. So, you pull it out. And you get that, goes, body goes all the way through it. And then I'm pretty sure this is like a big poopy thing on that. So, I'm not eating that. And that leaves you with just this little piece of body. Little black footy type thing. Not... A heck of a lot. But even just plain. It's pretty good. And I am, oh, I'm gonna have a treat. A little maple adobo on the corn. Oh, it's getting maple adobo everywhere. Mmm. 
That's delicious. Hmm. The corn's already sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm, the adobo is sweet in a different way. Yeah, that maple -y flavor. Uh-huh. Makes, uh makes it like dessert corn. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I'm feeling a lot better now. Right? Thank you. Oh, it's definitely flagging. Yeah. yeah. I like how the periwinkle, I'm removing it with the lobster claw, like, like the wild provides the tools. The tool, yeah. You know, like ever since I figured out that this like claw from the smaller pincer claw on the lobster works great for picking the meat out of any lobster, you know, like it works so well. Uh. And now it works like super good for like picking the meat out of these guys. It's like such an awesome tool. Mm. Well, that was good, guys. Periwinkles, mussels, Thank mackerel. You. Thank you for showing me this place, too. This is, yeah. I mean, the view, ocean view and everything. Yeah. It's gorgeous. If it wasn't so beautiful, I'd say I was disappointed we didn't catch a striper, but, you know, I hadn't been over here in this area yet. And I found out about this from Sarah, and so who knows where the striper are exactly in, in the best numbers and the best location. Mm hmm. Let's uh, pack it up and we can get back and we can see if we can um, maybe cut something on the way in still. There's, yeah. there's still hope. It was great. Oh, dude, it's been awesome. We had such a great time. That was fun. We nailed it, I think. Uh huh. Outside and the, of catching a keeper striper, I don't know what the problem was, but. Everything was new to me yeah. as far as main lobster, crabs, yeah. squid. That was so much fun. And I That's like, I, I wanted the adventure to be new, so I took you to new places instead uh -huh. of places I've caught striper before. Appreciate you. Thanks, man. Thanks for sharing Maine. Yeah, I can't I wait to it. figure out what we can do next. Maybe I'll have to come see you. Yes, Yeah. exactly. Get me on some of those bigger bass. My so, PB is, is just over three pounds. That's it. Oh, wow. And so, we have giant striper fishing too, uh, so like true giants, like 30, yeah. 40 pound. I want, that would be cool too, but I, I would love to have a five pound plus bass. That would be one of my we'll dreams. Make it happy. One of my bucket dreams. <laughs> All right. Sweet. All Thank right. you so See much. See you later. Man. Well, that was fun. Huh? Yeah, get some sleep. Uh, you too. <laughs> After four hours of sleep last night, we've been grinding hard to make the videos. I don't think we took one day off. We. We uh, took one day where we took the morning off. Yeah, and even Sunday it was church and uh, lobstering before church and then uh, after that. So that was a blast. And now that he's gone, I can tell you the truth. He's a nightmare to work with. What a prima donna. He's like, you know, you got to get a, like, he's got to have a milkshake before 2.30. He needs his coffee and it has to be uh, 48 degrees above the temperature of the outside air. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. No, just kidding. It was awesome. We had a great time. Um, and uh, I can't wait to hang out with Ace again. So that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Fowler out.